Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Joachim Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Friday, June 9th, 2023, and here are the readings for today. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 2, verses 14 through 28. Brethren, when the Gentiles, who have not the law, do by nature what the law requires, they are a law unto themselves, even though they do not have the law. They show that what the law requires is written on their hearts, while their conscience also bears witness, and their conflicting thoughts accuse or perhaps excuse them on that day when, according to my gospel, God judges the secrets of men by Christ Jesus. But if you call yourself a Jew, and rely upon the law, and boast of your relation to God, and know his will, and approve what is excellent, because you are instructed of the law, and if you are sure that you are a guide to the blind, a light to those who are in darkness, a corrector of the foolish, a teacher of children, having in the law the embodiment of knowledge and the truth, you then who teach others, will you not teach yourself? Why you preach against stealing, do you steal? You who say that one must not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You who abhors idols, do you rob temples? You who boast in the law, do you dishonor God by breaking the law? For, as it is written, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. Circumcision indeed is of value if you obey the law. But if you break the law, your circumcision becomes uncircumcision. So, if a man who is uncircumcised keeps the precepts of the law, will not his uncircumcision be regarded as circumcision? Then those who are physically uncircumcised but keep the law will condemn you who have the written code and circumcision but break the law. For he is not a real Jew who is one outwardly, nor is true circumcision something external and physical. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 33 through 41. Let us be attentive. The Lord said, You have heard that it was said to the men of old, You shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist one who is evil. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your coat, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, Go with him two miles. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So in today's gospel, we have a continuation of the Sermon on the Mount. And today, our Lord is directing us to be straightforward, to let our yes be yes, and let our no be no. That way, we don't have to worry about anything else. When we say we'll do something, we do it. When we say we don't do something, we don't do it. And that way, people will know who we are by virtue of the fact that our yes is yes, and our no is no. But then it gets a little more difficult, especially again with us in this day and age. What does he say? You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist one who is evil. Do not resist one who is evil. That's very important. But if anyone strikes you, our Lord says, on the right cheek, turn to him the other as well. If anyone would sue you and take your coat, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Now what are we to make of that? Well, again, without an understanding of just who our Lord is, it's very hard for us to see that this would be something that Christians would be expected to do. But when we understand his willingness to go the extra mile, 
to be stripped of his clothes and to be mocked and scorned with a purple robe or to be spit upon and smacked but still saying forgive them for they know not what they do if we understand in those categories that our lord did it first then we see very clearly what we are to do and this is very difficult in today's era of power politics because to do these kinds of things is a sign of weakness and other people might exploit those weaknesses but our lord is very succinct in this we are not to exercise power and coercion we instead are to exercise mercy and compassion and forgiveness and when we do that then we are willing to walk the extra mile we are willing to give the cloak as well as the coat and we are willing to turn the other cheek not to hide the cheek that was smacked but to offer the other cheek that was not smacked to the same expectation wow these are difficult sayings and we can live into them but that needs a couple of things the first is it needs faith in christ himself that he is indeed who he says he is and that he will follow through as he does with his promises and with his great promise of our eternal life and the other thing that it requires is a community it's very difficult to bear these kinds of difficulties in solitude but when we have each other to admonish, to encourage, to strengthen, to pray for, to nourish, then it becomes easier for us to be the kinds of Christians that Christ calls us to be here in the Sermon on the Mount. It's not an unreasonable expectation, but it is an expectation that's difficult to do without faith and without a good faith community behind us, supporting us and strengthening us through the Holy Spirit. So that's the key to this. The key is we don't do this journey alone. We do it with our God who loves us profoundly and deeply, and we do it with our neighbor who is willing to hold us up as we ourselves hold our neighbors up. So may God give us the strength to be the kind of Christians that we are called to be in this world people of reconciliation of peace and of love and may he always be with us no matter what may befall us well, i hope you found this video helpful if you did please consider giving it a like and subscribing to this channel share it with your friends and if you have any questions or need any clarification ask me a question i'll be happy to try to respond as soon as i'm able in the meantime i pray that god will bless you and those that you love today and always in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit one god amen Thank you very much for joining me today. I pray you have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.